Consider this. According to the Big Bang Theory, we shouldn't exist. So why are we here? Let's take a brief journey back to the very beginning, to the Big Bang itself. Imagine an explosion of incomprehensible magnitude, a cosmic eruption spewing out the building blocks of the universe. The theory tells us that this explosion should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Now, here's the catch. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, leaving behind nothing but energy in the form of light. So, if our universe started with equal parts of both, we would expect to see a universe filled with light, but devoid of matter. No stars, no planets, and certainly no life. But that's not what we see. We see a universe teeming with galaxies, stars, planets, and yes, life. A universe dominated by matter, not antimatter. Yet here we are, in a universe that is predominantly made of matter. Intriguing, isn't it? So, what's the big deal about matter and antimatter anyway? Well, let's dive right in. Matter as we know it forms everything around us, from the smallest microorganisms to the grandest galaxies. It's the stuff that makes up the universe as we know it. Antimatter, on the other hand, is like matter's evil twin. It possesses the same mass as matter, but with opposing properties. Imagine a world where you meet your mirror image, identical in every way, but opposite. That's what it's like when a particle of matter encounters a particle of antimatter. They're perfect opposites, and when they meet, the result is annihilation, complete and total destruction, with nothing left but pure energy. Now, this sounds quite dramatic, and it is. But it's this very interaction that makes our existence so fascinating. You see, when the universe was born in the fiery crucible of the Big Bang, matter and antimatter should have been created in equal amounts. They should have met, annihilated each other, and left nothing but a universe filled with energy. But here's the twist, that's not what we see. Instead, we live in a universe teeming with matter. Star systems, galaxies, planets, life, all made of matter. If matter and antimatter were created in equal amounts, none of this should exist. Yet here we are, living proof that something in our understanding isn't quite right. And it's not just about us. The existence of matter allows for the existence of life as we know it. Without matter, there would be no stars to warm our planets, no elements to build our bodies, no platforms for life to take hold and evolve. Matter, in all its complexity, is the stage upon which the grand drama of life unfolds. But if matter and antimatter should have wiped each other out, why is there so much matter left? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And to answer it, we'll need to delve a little deeper into the mysteries of the universe. So stay tuned, because things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. The universe, it seems, has a bias for matter, but why? This question has been the subject of intense scrutiny and research. The most accepted explanation suggests that in the early moments of the universe, a small imbalance occurred. For every billion particles of antimatter, there was a billion and one particles of matter. When matter and antimatter met, they annihilated each other, leaving behind just that one extra particle of matter for every billion pairs. It's these leftover particles that make up everything we see in the universe today. Yet this explanation is not without its problems. It doesn't explain why this imbalance occurred in the first place. Enter quantum fluctuations, tiny random variations in the distribution of energy, which could have tipped the balance in favor of matter over antimatter. In the quantum world, nothing is certain and everything is possible. Could it be that these quantum fluctuations are responsible for our existence? But the story doesn't end there. There's another tantalizing possibility. What if there are regions of the universe inaccessible to us, filled with antimatter? Imagine vast, distant galaxies made entirely of antimatter, mirroring our own matter-filled cosmos. It's a mind-bending concept, but not entirely ruled out by our current understanding of physics. Perhaps the answer lies in the mysterious realm of dark matter and dark energy, Entities that we know exist but understand little about. Could they hold the key to the matter-antimatter mystery? Or perhaps the answer lies beyond our current scientific grasp, waiting to be discovered by future generations of explorers. And so, we are left with a universe that seems to favor matter over antimatter. A universe where we, against all odds, exist. 
We've come up with theories, we've speculated, we've observed and measured, and yet we're still deeply entrenched in the mystery. Yet none of these theories fully answer our question, why do we exist against the odds? The scarcity of antimatter remains one of the biggest mysteries of modern physics. This enigma, this cosmic riddle, is more than just a scientific quandary. It's a question that challenges our understanding of the universe and everything we know about our very existence. If the Big Bang theory is to be believed, we shouldn't be here at all. Yet here we are, in a universe teeming with matter, while antimatter is conspicuously scarce. Now why is this important? Well, the answer to this question could revolutionize our comprehension of the universe and the Big Bang theory. It's a bit like trying to complete a jigsaw puzzle with a missing piece. The picture is incomplete and the mystery of the missing antimatter is that elusive piece. Scientists around the globe are engaged in an intense race to solve this puzzle. They are delving into the heart of atoms, exploring the deepest realms of the quantum world, and even considering the possibility of inaccessible regions of the universe that might be brimming with antimatter. Some speculate that quantum fluctuations during the early universe could be responsible for the imbalance. The theory suggests these fluctuations might have tipped the scales in favor of matter, allowing it to survive while antimatter vanished. However, this is but one of many theories, and the scientific community is still far from a definitive answer. The mystery of our existence, therefore, continues to confound us. It's a profound reminder of how much we have yet to learn about the cosmos and our place within it. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our insatiable curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. So, the question remains, how did we come to exist in a universe that, according to the Big Bang Theory, should not contain matter? Our existence, it seems, is a cosmic mystery a conundrum that leaves even the greatest minds scratching their heads. We've journeyed through the universe's grand narrative, from the Big Bang's fiery birth to the peculiar imbalance of matter and antimatter. The universe, it appears, is not as balanced as we once thought. Our universe is overwhelmingly composed of matter, yet the Big Bang theory suggests that matter and antimatter should have obliterated each other in the early universe, leaving only photons in their wake. This begs the question, why are we here? Why is there so much matter and so little antimatter? It's a question that has perplexed scientists for decades, and the answer remains elusive. Yet this mystery underscores the importance of our quest for knowledge. It's a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and a reminder that there's so much more to discover. Every theory, every observation, and every experiment brings us one step closer to understanding the fundamental workings of our universe. This is why we must continue to probe the cosmos, to question the status quo, and to challenge our understanding of the universe. It's a journey that's not without its challenges, but it's one that's well worth the effort. As we unravel the mysteries of our existence, we gain not only knowledge, but also a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of our universe. As we conclude this cosmic journey, we invite you to join us in this quest for knowledge. Engage with us, share your thoughts, and let's unravel the mysteries of the universe together. Remember, every discovery starts with a question. So keep asking, keep exploring, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell us what you think of all this in the comments below.